Welcome into the original Father Son Voiceover Podcast Studio. That's Todd. I'm the Bo- Bob the Builder. That's Todd. I'm Hudson. <laughs> and that's John. Uh, Dad and I run our own voiceover businesses, one more successfully than the other. And then um, Actually, John is John is running a business with Joe, VO Marketing Pro. And I'm going to be out of, I'm, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I'm not going to be in voiceover business now that my youngest son got me these carton mm, piece say, of he wears those in there car heart i'll be down at the workbench a lot i probably yep. start my own construction company lots of wood cutting oh yeah. Get a chainsaw yeah. Out. very handy and we'll I'm have 911 handy. on speed dial yeah 911 on speed dial you will definitely cut I'll, yourself I'll to do something voiceover. yeah well if you're not familiar with these videos we talk about our numbers income earnings direct email marketing stats uh our platform stats. So what we'll do is we'll start out with Johnny. Okay. They run VO Marketing Pro and it is a direct email marketing um, business for people like my dad and I that they market to and for. Yep. Market for. Um, for. And then we yeah. also have an um, invite by invite only roster on our website um, mm-hmm. that we are building and we make uh, cold calls. Drew's the master of cold calls and mom's second and then me. Um, and that's a big difference between second and third. Um, <laughs> and first and second. And, for, and first honest. and second. Yeah, mom's good, but yes, Drew's mom's like good. Um, Drew's Michael Drew's, Jordan of cold yeah, calls. Yep. He worked in auto, auto claims. So if any of you have someone that you know that's worked in insurance or something along those lines, cold calls are probably the least of your concerns um, with that. So Drew makes those, and then we send out emails out of dad's database. <laughs> Um, we send out on behalf of the roster. We usually average, average, excuse me, around a thousand a month. And Andy Todd's assistant sends those out. They're specifically for the roster. It doesn't go. We feature somebody um, throughout the month. A person uh, on the voice roster. A, 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 a person on the on voice, voice roster. Uh-huh. They're kind of the headline, if you will. But it's two point people. Those video production companies to our roster. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. Okay. And then you want me to do the numbers, I'm assuming. I sure do. Why don't we hear those? Okay, so this week we had 47 warm responses, and we had 10 auditions, and eight jobs reported. Wow. Eight jobs. So we got three for Kimberly Kimberly Boom. Young, Kimberly. one from a new client, and then two from a recurring client. Nice, Kimberly. Lauren Gobis, I can't remember if hers is recurring. I don't remember, but forgive me for that. But it is a it is a job. Jennifer White. Noel Romano. All ladies. With two. And then Bill DeWeese with one. Okay. With a recurring. There you go. Nice, Bill. Yep. Big. Yep. That was several recurring, at yep. least. Yep. And uh, there, like I them. said, there's auditions yeah. out there and there's some people, like we've said before, if you follow us, we just report what comes into us. Um, and then we also just report when people confirm that they got it. So, because um, sometimes we see that there's something in the works but we want to make sure that the talent has has for sure uh, done it. And so there's a couple, few out there that we're waiting to hear back on. Are there? Are so. you still waiting back for some of the ones you were talking about last week? There were a couple that you weren't for sure on yet. Did those, any of those come through? Or were those yes. any of those? Yes, I can't remember. Yeah, I believe it was Noel's, okay. I believe. I believe. And then we're still waiting. Again, some of these can be a long yeah. time. Yeah. And, yeah, I just so want to know that, that based on what report. It's, so. it's one of the things that I learned a long time ago is, is and it's hard when you're not very busy, but do your auditions and then just forget them. Mm-hmm. And boy, it's really fun when all of a sudden yeah. they, you know, crop up six weeks later or two months later. And hey, we've got that script ready for you. I forgot all about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, here's 400 bucks. That's fun. Yep. So that's it for us for what we what was reported. All right. So. On to my numbers. As you remember, last week I had a very good week. This week was was downhill a lot. So six warm responses. I had two auditions, no new clients, no recurring clients, and zero jobs from direct email marketing. Um, and then I had one job on Upwork, $175. I get $157.50. And then I had three jobs on Fiverr, $5, $12, and $7. And then I did one, two, three, uh, nine hours of editing for dad. So last week was $3,158.50. This week was $336.70. So like I said, last week, 
It's didn't a get, roller coaster. Didn't get too high, didn't get too low. I was happy for that, but did the same things. Just uh, mm-hmm. probably just got all the jobs at one time. That um, happens sometimes. So. They flood in. Yeah. Anyway, those are my numbers, and uh, I will be back on my high horse next week trying to get up to 750. So, <laughs> And if you don't make much, you'll not be on the high horse. For I will be riding underneath the horse, <laughs> being trampled. But, but, but you and I talked about this, and it's the same for me and for for anybody out there. It's 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 not the successful weeks that shows your metal, what you're made out of it. Mm-hmm. It's what happens after, the week after your successful weeks, when you go, when you plummet, do you just, you know, have, do you lose all of your steam or do you say, nope, what got me that $3,000 week is what also got me the $300 week. But what you want to do is smooth this out to be more like this. Because mine does that, but mm-hmm. it, it goes up. Mm-hmm. It goes up slowly. There's dips and there's been Fill dips. Fill in the cracks. That's yep. what I'm trying to do. Yeah, there's been dips for me uh, probably. I mean, my my 2023 took off like a shot. And I knew it was going to because I had a... A, a large recurring client uh, that I've worked with for years said, we've got a whole bunch of work. They even sent me an email with like, mm-hmm. I don't know, there were like 30 projects on it. And each one was between 200 and $500. It was like, just give me this all, I would, uh, you know, you just, it's work, you Keep know, it's, it's long form, yeah. but, but nevertheless, I, I had that and that ran out. Um, they do have more work coming uh, a oh, little nice. bit later on. I don't think it'll be as much. I mean, that was just a glut but, um, but you know, for the first five months of 2023, I took off like a shot. I think I was twelve or fourteen thousand dollars above what I was a year before, mm. which was the fastest I took off. Um, but uh, I want to get back to that first. I'm just going to give my numbers for this week, and then I want to talk about the last counting this year. And I haven't made three hundred thousand dollars this year yet. That's still up in the air big time. But the three years before that, I've made over $300,000. And I wanted to just tell you what my my um, years were, my numbers were for each one of those okay. at this point in the year. So this week, Fiverr, $968. Uh, Demond and John, my two sons, uh, put together a, a video. Uh, I helped put it, put it together, but Demond did the final and then you put it up on Fiverr. Yep. And so we're trying to gear things up. I've lowered my prices. We're trying to get the wheels going again. Uh, Upwork was $45, but I did a lot. I did a lot of auditions on voices.com, lots of them, and won one job. And I did uh, uh, a lot of proposals for Upwork. In fact, I even, if you don't know anything about Upwork, this won't make any sense to you, but I bought some connects. You need connects to be able to do proposals. Audition, yeah. And so uh, Hudson helped me do that. And so I actually bought some connects, kind of some ways to promote myself. And then direct email marketing was $3,850 for my total this week, $4,863, $4,863. So now back, what I'm trying to do is make $6,000 a, a week, which would be $300,000 a year. So, so this year, after 116 workdays, I've made and demand, maybe you can type these out and just put those as we go through. So, because numbers can be difficult sometimes to follow. So in 2023, so far this year, $140,966. That's what I've made so far, $140,966. Now, if I want to make $300,000, I have two weeks left in June, which Mm -hmm. is half a year. So I've got about $9,000 to make up in those two weeks. We'll see what happens. Hmm. We get closer to 4th of July. Yeah, It'd be tough. Anyway, I got one hundred and forty thousand nine sixty six for twenty twenty three. Last year, I was at one forty four hmm. six ninety nine. So about I don't know thirty five thirty six hundred dollars. I'm thirty six hundred dollars less than last year at this point. Twenty twenty one, I was at one hundred thirty seven two forty five. So I this I year I'm three thousand dollars above that. Mm-hmm. And in twenty twenty, when I made uh, $329,000 when I was 116 days in, 
I made 115,000 oh well, 377. So my point being is, as I'm in range, yeah. it's not like I'm way, way down. Now I still have to do some work and it's no, there's no promise. There's no guarantees. It's not, it's not like I'm going to say, well, I'm, I'm almost to that. So I know I'm going to make $300,000. I don't know. It's a crap shoot. Every week is different. Every month is different. Every year is different. And I just have to do the same things over and over and over again. Uh, but that's what I'm shooting for. If I, if I don't make it, I don't make it. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, wave the white flag. I'm just going to continue to tweak. I'm going to continue to beat the bushes. That's what I've been doing the last few weeks. And I'm just going to count on the things continuing as best as they can. But I just want you guys to know that because we talk about that regularly as a family. And I just want to give you a little bit of, you know, insight into my numbers since I started making $300,000 a year and where I was at. So hopefully that those little numbers there that demand is flashing will help you be able to see where I'm at. Well, so for really, transparency and encouragement. Two things that we've talked about is is that one, you've said that voices.com, you weren't haven't been overly pleased with some of the they've things. They've changed. They've yep. changed. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And so we made some adjustments on there, which made you a fair amount of money last year. Yes. Yep. And then we also moved up our rates on Fiverr because mm -hmm. you were so busy with your email marketing that we had to make that change. Ch ch change. Wow. Mm -hmm. I lost the word there. How I lost that. I don't know. Made that change. You had it. And so we were, we had to, there's kind of a, seems like a groove area money wise for what you can make on fire to be reasonable, but not be too, too busy. low. Oh. And so, um, we're going back towards that because of your, your slowness right now. And so it takes, it's like anything you've, mm -hmm. you're kind of like marketing mm -hmm. yourself by being more in the game. And we moved up a uh, significantly amount, significant amount in 2021, 20, excuse me, 2022 mm -hmm. because of those changes. And so now we're making adjustments based on those. So it's going to yeah. take some time. But I spoke with somebody in our group last week that says that um, because he does really well on Fiverr and he just stays around the same amount all the time. And the good news is, is that there is still, I didn't know for sure if Fiverr had changed a bunch mm -hmm. and if there was still work coming in, but it sounds like um, New there is, there's, talking there's, about. there's plenty of opportunities on Fiverr still if you're in that kind of range. And that mm -hmm. was encouraging to talk with him because I like to learn from somebody as I run your Fiverr business, somebody that I can tell is, success, is, is successful in that. And he was kind enough to share his thoughts and, um, and uh, what he's thinking about those things. And so that was encouraging to hear. So hopefully we'll get that up and running again and maybe we'll have to make adjustments again based on if your email marketing gets busy yeah. again but well and that's, that's why we talk i mean that's very those are very good points and encouraging for me and uh, uh, everybody else we talk about having a, a simple you know developing a simple business plan that works find somebody that's successful go to school on them apply what they've learned to your situation and then just keep working that now that doesn't mean you just uh, it, it doesn't mean you just stop thinking. It doesn't mean you just stop. I never tweak. I never do anything different. I'm always doing that. That's not true. I'm not always doing that. When I'm really busy, I'm just, keeping I'm just your, busy. Keeping your head yeah, above water. Yeah, I'm just keeping my head above water. <laughs> but, but when I'm not busy, as busy as I want to be, then I'm thinking. I'm just calmly not flailing, I'm thinking, what do we need to do? And so that that's that's why I bring these numbers here. I'm behind last year. I'm ahead of a couple of other years when I made three thousand dollars or more. Three hundred. Three hundred thousand dollars. What did I say? Three hundred thousand. Three three hundred thousand dollars or more. But I'm not my numbers. but I'm 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 just thinking. I'm just evaluating and and that's what we encourage you to do. So that's it. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you missed our Todd's tips, you can go back and check those out in the Todd's tips playlist. Uh, these have been our numbers. Thanks, John, for coming. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested in learning more about VO Marketing Pro and what they do, you can get a hold of them at John Barsness at VO Marketing Pro or Joe Barsness at VO Marketing Pro. Flash it. Excuse me. Both of those dot com at the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's the best way to get a hold of us. And um, yeah, if you really want to talk on the phone, we can we can arrange that too. So yeah, all right, we will see you later. Check out the sixty third episode if you're interested of our laid back, fun, we think is fun there you go. <laughs> podcast. Always comes out on Wednesday, so we'll see you later. Bye.